So after more than a year of use, I am sweeping my chuck to see if I need to regrind it. I'm kind of thinking I should dust it. Um, but this is the grind that we did when we installed the machine. And I told the story about, about this and how I introduced the uh, technician from Okamoto, who, by the way, was a great guy, uh, Evan. And I introduced him to PFG stones <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, uncovered all of the, uh, the, uh, anomalies in grinding the chuck. But from a practical standpoint, it was ground and it was flat. And I wanted to show you that. So what we're doing here is we're just scanning, um, I have it on a, a slow reciprocating motion here and we're just scanning the chuck and you can see, let's see. You can see some little bumpies. Uh, this is a half a thousandth per division. So you're seeing a 10th uh, bumpies in there. And as I move it around, now we're about uh, the center line of the chuck. Uh, you could maybe detect a 10th of wear, because that's the end. And then here comes the middle you know, there's a yeah, little tenth maybe, and then it's gonna come back up. So is there wear there? Probably. Is it a lot of wear? Not much. Here we're on the, the back uh, 25%. Um, ah, interesting. There's a little more wear there than, than in the front. So I will probably go ahead and dust this. That's probably the worst wear right there. That's probably uh, two tenths. Yeah, so that's probably the worst of it. Um, I'll probably dust it. I don't know exactly when. But what's interesting is this is a year's worth of wear. And every time I use the chuck, I stone it. Now, I stone it from one end to the other end with my six inch PFG stones. So I don't stone you know, some little area. I start at one end, I go to the other end, usually I go back, and if I feel anything, I may do it a, another couple of times, but I always stone the entire chuck, and I think that's the important point. So this was very interesting. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Um, and if I get to that back edge, let's just see what the back edge does here. Yeah, it's not clear if this is wear or if this was from the original chuck grind. Because when we get to the ends, that is still a little low. So maybe the original chuck grind is, is showing its, uh, rearing its ugly head. Let's get to the end here and see what it does. Yeah, I don't think that's wear. I think that was the original, uh, that was the original chuck grind. So, uh, the point here is wear. Uh, we haven't seen a heck of a lot of wear. I, I stone this thing every single time I use it. So, stone your, uh, your chuck. Do it every time, but do it across the whole thing. So, we have balanced the wheel. We have dressed the wheel. Uh, so, the system is all set up for your automatic dressing. We dressed it once. The wheel is a 38A 46H VBE. So that's a white wheel, 46 grit H hardness. That guy's ready to go. It's a half inch wide wheel. We're programming up the control. The plan is to take a uh, half wheel step over, no more than one tenth down feeds and keep going until it cleans up. This will be driven in uh, uh, semi-automatic mode so that I can control what's going on from the panel. Okay, here's a progress report. We got started. Um, we took half a tenth, and we actually seem to have get, gotten some contact on the front edge here, which is interesting. We increased the wheel step over to 475, which is almost a full wheel width. 
And uh, we're about to uh, go in for one and a half tenths. We could hear a little bit of contact and we're seeing a little more cleanup. Let's see if we can't get a shot of that. All right, so it's, uh, it's a good setup. If I feel a need to dress, all I have to do is push this button and I get a dress. So uh, we'll take our time, we'll be patient, and we'll bring you back. Okay, another update. Um, this is going really well. You can actually see there is a wear area. Um, the center of the chuck is retaining a little more of the ink. The front edge is cleaned up first. That's all good. Uh, I neglected to tell you that my dressing parameters are uh, 40 inches a minute across the wheel and 1 thousandths of an inch down feed, two dresses. So that's a nice fast dress and leaves a nice uh, pattern on the wheel for keeping things cool. Um, what else can I tell you? We're stepping over uh, a quarter inch again. Decided that the quarter inch was enough. It has to do with uh, what the machine does at the end of the travel. But things are going really well. Oh yeah. Not gonna lie, this looks really good. We took a grand, oh, you can't see it. We took a grand total of six tenths um, off of the chuck. For those of you playing at home, that's six ten thousandths of an inch. We, f we did the job at one half wheel width uh, step over, so a quarter of an inch per pass step over. I thought I was gonna do another dress. Let's see what the stones say. If the stones tell us to go in and do it again, We'll go in and do it again. So this is how I stone the uh, chuck all the time. I could feel and see a little bit of action. So what we're seeing here is some bright spots. It might be the edges of the wheel, I'm not really sure. But I'm really comfortable dressing and going in and do it one more time. Yeah, I think we're going to need a bigger indicator. I'll show you the y-axis in another video, but basically, we're looking really good. Here's your y-axis. Keep in mind, this is a half of a thousand per division, so, you know, a needle width, I don't know, are you seeing 50 millions? I'm going to say, uh, good enough. 